Okay, you guys, so you know that our recipe, our pumpkin caramel cheesecake calls for, we gotta have a pumpkin, you know? So I did start to get, you know, um, the pumpkin in a can already, you know? Um, but hey, why not have fresh pumpkin, okay? So that's what I am going to do here. So I'm just gonna start by just um, making some indents in here so I can go in here and um, and get out a pumpkin. Uh, okay, try not to, gotta be really careful with this, you guys. Gotta be really, really careful. So I'm cutting it, as you see, away from my hand <laughs> so that I don't cut myself, okay? So I'm cutting it away from my hand, as you can see that. So it looks like we can go ahead and remove this. Okay. Remove that out. And so we're just going to get all of that out. Let me fork here. And so we're just going to take all of this out all of this pumpkin out. Okay. As you see, it is loaded with seeds, but we don't want the seed. We just want, we want the inside. We want the pumpkin. We want the actual pumpkin, so. Okay, so once we get all the seed and stuff out of the way, see, this is what we want. We want, we want the pumpkin part, so. Okay, so can be a bit of a mess, but hey, that's what it is what it is. Okay. And you know, Halloween is over. And normally for Halloween, a lot of people, you know, they, you know, have little activities with pumpkins where they just, you know, cut it, the top of it out like this and then carve it and make like little silly faces and stuff like that. So, okay. So kind of just wanted you guys to see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to continue to get all of that pumpkin out of that in the inside of this because that's what we're going to use for our um, cheesecake. That's gonna be some of the ingredients in our cheesecake, so be right back. All right, you guys, continuing on with my pumpkin caramel cheesecake. So part of the ingredients is I have to chop up uh, the crust, um, of the cheesecake. So my crust is going to have uh, walnuts, as you see here. We're gonna have some crushed walnuts. And, um, and then also some crushed, some ginger snaps. Okay, so that's gonna be the crust for um, the cheesecake. All right, so we have to grind the nuts up. So I'm gonna put them in my little grinder here and the ingredients ask for about one half cup so I got a little bit here that I've already started to grind so I'm just going to go ahead and 
get this going. So we just asked for one and a half cup of grinded pecan. So, all right, so we got a little bit left over. So, um, that's my pecans there. I want my pecans to have just a little bit um, of some substance to it so I can taste it. Okay, I don't want it to be too fine. All right, so then I'll take the remaining. And just put it over here in my bowl. So don't need all of that. So I'll just sit that there. All right. Then moving right along, we have to grind up our ginger snaps. Okay. Just do this. You guys know me. I clean as I go. So, all right. So the recipe does ask for uh, about 38 um, cookies of the ginger snap cookies. So, and that should give us our cup and a half. So it does ask for 30 days. So we got some ginger snap cookies. Okay. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 20, 28. All right. ginger snappers um, up here in, I had to use a bigger blender. Uh, the crusher that I used earlier was not quite grinding it up. I don't know if you guys remember eating ginger snappers coming up as a child, but to me, this was one of the hardest cookies to eat. I mean, and they still are. I mean, you you better have some good teeth if you want some ginger snappers, because these cookies are pretty tough.
Okay, so this should be our one cup and a half that the recipe is calling for. So we got some, I think it's lined it up pretty good there. Like I said, we have just a little bit of chunks in there, but I think that's okay. That's okay. But most of it is grinded up. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have here. So we should have one cup and a half. Let's see if we're going to get that. Again, this is going to be our crust. and a half right there cup and a half for our ginger snaps and then our pecans and these are just some leftovers here just in case we need some to form our crust with all right all right so let's begin to make our crust. Okay, you guys, continuing on with our pumpkin caramel cheesecake. So we are now going to form our crust um, for the cheesecake, and it's gonna go in this pan here. This is a 13 by nine inch pan. Okay, and then we're going to start with, uh, we're going to add our nuts first. So these are our nuts. We're going to put them in our mixing bowl here. And then we're going to add our ginger snaps. We're going to put that in there, which um, call for one and one, one and one half cup of ginger snap. Freshly grind. Okay. So just kind of mixing up the ginger snaps and our walnuts together there. Okay. And then we're going to, I have some butter here that I melted. And I'm going to get that down in there. Okay, you're gonna mix that up together. snaps and our nuts there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the um, our mixture there into our mold. And once again, you guys, you know, when you're dealing with food and what people are going to be putting it, putting into their mouth. So just make sure your hands are clean. Okay. And I also cleaned this, even though I told you guys I double clean everything. It was clean when I pulled it out and I cleaned it again. And so now we're going to form our crust here at the bottom. I don't know, you guys look like, okay, they looks like we probably need more than this. He said one and one half, but looks, oh, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Looks like we will need more than this. 
You know, that's why sometimes for those ingredients that you get in the cookbook, sometimes you just kind of have to just, that's why I'm so glad I have some extra over there so I can go back and add those into our dish. Okay, so give me one second while I add the leftovers. Ginger snaps here and the nuts and finish this off. One moment. Okay, so we are going to continue on with our um, pumpkin caramel cheesecake. And so now I'm going to prepare the filling, um, which we'll have, um, we have some cream cheese filling there. We have eggs, uh, we got vanilla extract, and this is the pumpkin here that I got from our pumpkin there. So I pretty much scraped all of the good stuff out of it and then I put it in a blender and this is what I got okay then I got some season in here so you can kind of dash in whatever type of season uh well not season spices that you want to add to your cheesecake and then I have some sugar so the feeling is kind of just up to the individual taste bud you know so that's what we're going to prepare at this moment so, but like I say, it does call for um, cream cheese. So I'm gonna put, go ahead, I'm gonna start with putting two in our mixing bowl here. Kind of already went ahead and pre-opened them. So, don't be spending too much time trying to get that going. Okay, just want to get it in there like that. Okay, then I want to heat it with the blender. cheese is going to do. I don't believe we're going to need four. So. Okay, so let me just I just kind of wanted to get it started to get it um, um, just to get it started combined up there together so I'm going to add some sugar now a little bit at a time
to finish that off there. One cup of sugar. pumpkin here that we got from our pumpkin earlier so we're going to add a little bit of that at a time So for this, you guys, I only added um, about nine ounces of pumpkin. You can add as much pumpkin as you want, but I just wanted to just kind of have like a hint of a flavor of pumpkin. And in order to do this really rich pumpkin, it's kind of going to have that little extra pumpkin. All right. All right. So then next, I'm going to add our spices. Okay. And so I'm going to add some cinnamon. And I'm going to put one tablespoon of cinnamon to this. Now, like I said, you can, as far as spices, you can kind of add whatever your taste bud is, you know, tasting for this autumn season. It may be. Um, cinnamon, and maybe pumpkin spice. You can add some more pumpkin spice to it. Right down here. Okay, just get that straight down. Okay, and then continue on. <laughs> And I'm going to add one teaspoon of that. Okay, then I'm just going to add just a little dab of nutmeg. Just a dab. Just a dab. Alright, because it is the 
Just, I don't mind this cord here. I'm trying to get it out the way. So, okay. All right. Now give me one minute, you guys. Cause you know, like I say, when I'm in the kitchen, I clean as I cook. So. while I wash up my next common feature which is going to be our eggs okay so we're not going to use I only use three of those three out of the four So the last thing this recipe calls for are the eggs. All right. And so we're going to take an egg, crack it open. Calls for uh, four eggs, but let's gonna let's try. We'll do three since we didn't, since we really didn't use the last pack of that cream cheese there. So, all right. So it does for calls for doing uh, for pouring the eggs in one at a time. So I'm gonna give it a shot here. So just a little bit there. It may have been two eggs, but hey. is going to be for our filling. Okay, you guys, so down to the last final stages of our uh, pumpkin cheesecake here, pumpkin caramel cheesecake. And so this is the bottom of the crust here that I have my ginger snaps, my walnuts and my butter all on the bottom here and this is my filling here 
that I just mixed up here. And so I am going to pour this filling on top of our crust. And to be honest, you guys, I don't believe I'm going to need all of this because I don't want my cheesecake to be, because I want to be able to taste my crust, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm not going to use this entire filling. So I'm just going to use that amount there. You know, that's one thing about baking. When you bake, you kind of have to use your judgment on how much to add and how much to uh, take back. Okay, so I'm taking back this time. So I don't think I need all of that filling for this um, recipe at this time. So I'm going to put it in the oven for um, it calls to put it in the oven for 45 minutes at 300 and okay, it don't say the temperature on here, but you know, normally, oh, here it is, 325. So I'm going to bake it at 325 for 45 minutes, and then when it is done, we'll come back and give it a try. Okay, you guys, so this is the final result of my pumpkin cheesecake here. And so I'm going to cut this bad boy and then dress it up and do a taste test. All right, so let's go in. Here we go. Got that pea. Got that wonderful crust at the bottom. So it pretty much came up easy. Up out of our pan there. Okay, so this is it here. And as you can see, Underneath there, we have our wonderful ginger snaps, sorry, and our walnuts and butter. And then we have our pumpkin cheesecake there at the top. So let's dress it up, you guys. Okay, you guys, so we are going to dress up our cheesecake here so i do have some whipped cream here that we're just going to put on the top just like that gonna dress it up and then i do have some caramel here some caramel here I'm just going to take some of that and just whoop that on the top of it like that, just to dress it up just a little bit. Doesn't that look yummy? Okay, all right. 
All right. And then look at that. That is my pumpkin caramel cheesecake. And you guys, I am ready to dig into this. So let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. You guys, this is on point. This is on point. This is on point. Definitely can taste the walnuts. Definitely can taste the ginger snaps. Can taste the pumpkin, can taste the cinnamon. It just tastes like autumn. And that's what we want. We want it to taste like autumn. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, it's so good. And then to top it off, you gotta have your latte. Mm. You guys, this is definitely a autumn recipe you want to incorporate for your holidays. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe so that you can be notified when I post another video. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm.